Welcome to this, the fifth and final video in the Renorex Studio reporting series. Converting reports. To generate a PDF report, we begin by selecting the solution and using the context menu to add Renorex automation helpers. Click add and once complete, close. You can see that several modules have been added. We add a teardown to the test suite then drag and drop the report to PDF module to the tear down. Once the test run is completed, you can see that a link to a PDF has been generated. There are also further customizations we can make. If we double click on the unbound variables and click auto create, we are presented with a list of variables we can change. If we wish to give the report a specific name, we select the name variable and add a value, in this case, report1. We can also retrospectively convert reports. To do so, you will need to download and install the Ranarex report to PDF tool. A link to the file can be found in this video's description. There is also a handy style sheet. We need to ensure that the report we wish to convert is in its compressed form. To do so, select the test suite and use the context menu, properties and select the report tab. Check the box create a compressed copy of the report and OK. If we run the test, we find that once completed, a .rxz log file is created in the reports folder in File Explorer. This file and the Ranorex report to PDF tool must be in the same folder. For ease of demonstration, we will move the file to the desktop and rename it. If we open command prompt, we see that both the .exe file and the .rxz log are found in the same folder. To convert the report, we simply type ranorex.pdf.exe, the name of the input file, and the name of the output file we want. In this case, test PDF. Hit enter. The PDF is then generated in the same folder, the desktop. This is the final video in the Renorex Studio reporting series. In the next series we'll gain an understanding of data-driven testing.